Hello and welcome to my video where I will show you how to buy or sell Bitcoin. Now if you're like me, you don't want to get ripped off and you don't trust any of these websites out there. And you shouldn't because there are so many websites that are scamming people and that are ripping people off that it's becoming dangerous to get involved in these websites because there's such a high risk of just simply losing your money. So the purpose of this video is to show you the safest method I have found for buying and selling Bitcoin. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. However, both ways that I'm going to show you allow you to instantly buy and sell Bitcoin. With that being said, let's get going. The first website that I'm going to show you is called Bitstamp. Bitstamp.net. I've already created an account. I'm already logged in. This is kind of the overview page, and I like Bitstamp. It's my number two pick, but I like it. It's got this really cool live price of the Bitcoin right this second. This is going to change instantly within seconds. Um, another crazy thing, just to point out how crazy Bitcoin is right now today. The price of Bitcoin has fluctuated $150. So you can imagine how much money people are making and losing by buying and selling, by trading. So this price is actually going to fluctuate any second. Now I'm surprised it hasn't already. Let me just quickly refresh the page. If we scroll down just a little bit, there it goes. If we scroll down just a little bit, we can see live trades. And you can see these are coming in every second. Uh, we can see how much money people are working with. Another cool thing is the live order book. So if I click on order book, I can see how much money people are pushing around. Um, and they're pushing around quite a bit of money. Uh, you know, 14,000, uh, 22,000, 35,000. But people are pushing 57 well into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Here's $140,000. So we're talking big money here, um, 68,000. And it's not uncommon. You can see there's plenty of transactions that are well over $20,000. Um, I haven't seen any million dollar transactions. Here's a $200,000 transaction. So people are pushing serious cash around. So whether you're pushing one Bitcoin or 100 Bitcoins, this service, Bitstamp, could work for you. Now let's get into the limitations and what we need to do to set up our account and allow us to use Bitstamp. So let's just say you created a Bitstamp account. We need to then become verified. And we do that by just clicking on account and we click on verify account. Now Bitstamp requires us to provide two forms of identification. You can see they list that here. The first form is a passport, ID card, driver's license. The second form that we need to present is a proof of residency. This could be a bank statement, utility bill, tax return, certificate. So if you want to use Bitstamp, you'll need to verify your account to buy, sell, buy, sell instantly. And so if we deposit money into our Bitstamp account, we'll then most likely want to get it out of our Bitstamp account. So first, let's just start with how we would get money into our Bitstamp account. So let's just say we've verified our account. Now it's time to deposit money from our bank account into our Bitstamp account. So that's going to take a few days, depending on where you live. And there's just no way around that. There's really no way to speed that up right now. Maybe by the time you watch this video, but at least now you would have been aware of Bitstamp and you can learn more about it. So if you live in the European Union or these select countries, it's going to take one to three business days to get the money from your bank account to your Bitstamp account. If you live in the rest of the world, which includes the United States, it's going to take two to five business days. Remember, business days does not include weekends for that money to transfer from your bank account to your Bitstamp account. So you're going to have to wait this amount of time no matter what. So you should really just get the ball rolling as soon as possible if Bitstamp is the website that you want to use. So withdrawing, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, we need to choose where we want to withdraw the money, to our bank account in, the, in, the, in Europe, in those selected countries that I showed you on the last page, an international bank, like let's say in the U.S., or if we want to 
transfer Bitcoin away to another wallet. But to do any of this, we need to be verified. So that's why we would have to verify our account before we do any of this. Once we're verified, we can click on the buy sell, we can buy Bitcoins, and we can sell Bitcoins instantly. And that's great. However, I have chosen not to go with Bitstamp. I have chosen to go with Coinbase. Coinbase is another website that allows you to buy and sell Bitcoin. Very similar to Bitstamp, we would need to create an account. And then in order to buy and sell instantly, we would need to verify our account. And Coinbase has far more steps that, uh, that are needed to verify that you are who you say you are, but it's totally worth it because of the freedom that they give you to buy and sell on the fly and then, of course, transfer that money to your bank account, and then that's how you would cash out. So let's just quickly take a look at Coinbase. Once you create an account, you can basically be, you, you'd be brought to this screen here this is kind of like your overview screen you can see that I've bought some Bitcoin recently I've made a few transactions so we would click on buy sell and we can see here that we have the option to buy bitcoins sell bitcoins and we have our payment methods but before we can do any of this just like Bitstamp we need to verify our account so let's click on limits and verifications and you can see that I'm level one, but when you create your account, you're level zero. And to be able to buy, sell, buy, sell instantly, you would need to get to level two. But if you're at level one, you can stay somewhat anonymous. You have a 10 Bitcoin buy limit and a 10 Bitcoin sell limit, but there are still further limitations to that. So let's just quickly take a look at Coinbase's limits and verifications and what you need to do to get verified. So level one, you verify an email address, you verify a phone, and you link a bank account. I've already done these three. Now I would definitely suggest opening a new bank account instead of linking your savings account just to kind of protect yourself 100%. I've already done that. Complete a purchase. A purchase will take four days to process until the Bitcoin is in your account. So you can see that I've already done that, but it's still pending because it takes four days. It hasn't been four days. Once, it's, once four days is up, this will be complete. And then we can verify our identity using the last four digits of our social security number. Once we do those two things, we'll then be able to verify a credit card, which will work kind of the same way as linking a bank account, where they will make two small transactions on our credit card. We then verify how much those transactions are, and that's how we verify that that's our credit card and that we can we can link it and then of course the second half of the instant buy uh, verification is to verify the credit card which is this step and then complete level two which includes completing a purchase so in order to get the instant buy you would need to complete a purchase which takes four days so just to recap for coinbase if you signed up today you would need to link a bank account so that you can transfer money to buy Bitcoin, which takes another three days. So that's a total of eight days. Now, if you already have Bitcoin, you can instantly transfer it to your Coinbase account and then begin the complete purchase process, which will make your total time only four days until you're able to instantly buy and sell, buy and sell. That kind of gives you an idea of the limits and the verifications of Coinbase uh, compared to the limits and verifications for Bitstamp. So that's how you would buy or sell Bitcoin using those two methods that I just showed you. And remember, the goal here was the safe method. And so those two methods are on the safe side. Obviously, we can't control the value of Bitcoin. But if we're using those methods to buy and sell Bitcoin, we should be able to buy and sell quickly and therefore cash out at the correct time. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it now exposed you to those two services. You can now do a little bit more research on your own, figure out which one is going to be best for you. You know, if you can, give me a thumbs up on this video. You know, leave me a comment. All feedback is welcome.
Okay, let's start a discussion here. This is such a hot topic right now. In the coming days, weeks, months, I'll be releasing more videos showing you deeper inside my account and probably some tips and tricks for trading this currency. So once again, thank you so much for watching and good luck.